I'm on the train going up the Corcovado mountain in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, going to see one of the most famous monuments in the whole of Brazil, the statue of Christ the Redeemer. And we're going to talk about some interesting chemistry when we get there. There is a story that Albert Einstein traveled on this train. So this is really a homage to him as well. So here we are on the summit of the Corcovado, and behind me is the famous statue of Christ the Redeemer. It's nearly 130 feet high, just under 40 meters high and 30 meters wide. And there are a huge number of people here. The statue is made from soapstone. It's a very soft stone, and inside it has concrete reinforced with iron rods, steel rods, to give it strength. But soapstone is one of the softest stones you can have. And it is very similar in chemical composition to baby powder, talc. This sort of powder that you put on babies. Chemically, talc is derived from magnesium silicate, magnesium and SiO4 2 minus ions. And because it's ionic and has discrete ions in the structure, it's quite soft. It's easy to break up. But soapstone is related to talc, but has been underground at high pressure and high temperature, and it is transformed into a stronger rock. But it's still really quite soft and you can cut it quite easily. So you can sculpt the head of Christ. The statue doesn't fall apart because although the soapstone is very soft, it's just on the surface. The whole surface is covered with triangles of soapstone, rather like a mosaic. And these have been cut to give the features of Christ. And soapstone is a very nice and smooth rock. It feels rather like the talc when you put it on your skin. It makes your skin all soft and smooth. That's why they put it on babies. Now, we can't go near the statue because it's far too high where the soapstone starts. But Brady's thought of that and he's brought a ba backup. So I have in here a small statue made of soapstone. You can see it looks just the same as the real thing. But when I stroke the stone, it feels just like soap. And you can see it has been carved really quite intricately and easily because the soapstone is so soft. The erosion of stone is often caused by very bad weather, snow and ice, because when water freezes, it breaks up the stone. And here we are in Rio, one of the warmest cities in the world, though it doesn't feel like that today. And so there's very rarely any frost, and that is why it isn't damaged. But it has been damaged by lightning, and because it's right at the top of a mountain. And about four or five years ago, it was struck by lightning and required quite extensive restoration to repair the damage. So now it has got several lightning conductors, probably made of copper, to conduct the electricity down without damaging the stone. We've now got to the base of the statue. And in the guidebooks, they don't really say anything about the base. And the base is made or is covered with marble. Marble is calcium carbonate and you can polish it to a high brightness. It's almost like a mirror. You might be able to see my face inside it, reflected in it. And I think they chose this because it looks nice. But I think there's another reason. And the reason is that marble is much harder than soapstone. And I think they chose it to stop people scratching their names onto the stone because even with a barrow, you could scratch soapstone. And so 
in the 80 years it's been here, there would be hundreds of names over it. But the marble you can see is still as good as new. I think it's really very impressive. It really looms over you, dominates this crowd of people. And from the center of the town, it looks really mysterious, especially on a day like today, when there are lots of clouds. And Christ appears through the clouds and then disappears again. It's really very effective. And the science is also interesting. But there is also one fact which is quite surprising, is that this mountain is made out of a different rock. It's made out of granite, which is one of the hardest minerals. So there is something very symbolic about the statue of Christ, which is very soft, standing on the hard earth. And I'm sure many people can read all sorts of significance into that. I don't read any significance except as a fantastic demonstration of the different, different powers of materials, how different chemical composition can give you such different properties.